Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Global Impromptu Speaking Session number 91st, 91. It's been a long journey and interesting journey. At least for me, I always feel excited when I'm preparing myself. I have missed many meetings in Toastmasters, but this has become my responsibility, sheer responsibility to always plan and arrange this meeting. So we are all internationally benefiting from this platform. We are becoming impromptu speakers. It's not about becoming impromptu speaker, but becoming a better communicator. Our thought process are really being developed. So thank you so much for joining and helping us become what we are becoming right now. Thank you so much. In every global impromptu speaking session, we have somebody very special as a topics master. Today, somebody very senior, all the way from Sri Lanka, a very gentleman, very good man. Whenever he speaks, he speaks very humbly. And he has so many ideas. Let's see how he's going to trouble us all today. We are going to see his second phase. Let's see, is that phase the same one or the different one? <laughs> On a lighter note. And to support him, we have another a gentle lady all the way from Russell Kema, a very good friend, a very good supporter of this platform and a very good Toastmaster. None other than our own Toastmaster Sinduji who has taken challenge as timer as well today. Please put your hands together to welcome her to explain the timing mechanism. Good evening, my dear friends over here and special good evening to our Table Topics Master. I'm just going to explain the timing mechanism. The uh, you have one minute to two minutes to speak on the topic given to you. At one minute, you will be seeing the display of green. At one minute, 30 seconds, you will be seeing the display of amber. At two minutes, you will be seeing the display of red. And you will be allowed to speak up to two minutes, 30 seconds, and kindly wind up by two minutes, 30 seconds, so that all others in this platform will get a chance to speak. Over to you, DTM Amkachi. Thank you so much, Sindhu, I'm really appreciate Big round of applause for you. And uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all set to receive your topic and speak on that topic. Inspire us because that's the reason we are here for. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome our topics master of today's meeting, Toastmaster Sherman Perez. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Amjid. Your very kind uh, welcome. And I'm going to. Uh, we all, my global friends, giving easy topics to speak at the table topic session. The first person, like opening batsman, I'm giving uh, Toastmaster Farida. If we do not change our direction, we are likely to head, end up where we are headed. If you can't if understand. We do it, not, yes. Yeah. Yes. If we do not change our direction, we are likely to end, end up, up where we are headed. Where we are heading, also you can take it. Yeah. A very good evening to my global impromptu family members. The topic that has been given to me is if we do not change our direction, we are likely to miss our goal or where we are heading. Is that correct, Mr. Sherman? Correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. Thank you very much. I always believe that we should not dream. There's a famous saying in Urdu that khwab wo nahi hote jo hum sote mein dekhte hain. Khwab wo hote hain jo hume sone nahi dete. Dreams should not be what we would think in our sleep. Dreams should be such that we that should keep us awake and drive us towards our goal. So yes, we should always choose a goal and we should keep that goal in our mind only then we can focus all our efforts and all our thoughts towards that goal and we would we can use our talents and use our uh, actions to wield the goal and achieve it i have always believed in it i am a very goal oriented person all my life i have thought about my goals and i'm been a go getter and i have achieved most of my goals alhamdulillah those which I have not been able to achieve have not been very significant anyways. So that's the take for me for tonight. I totally believe in this topic. I think we all should have a goal, a direction in life, a purpose in life that we should strive towards. We should focus our talents, talents and all our efforts towards it. And only then we can 
master the art of living. A very good evening to everybody. Thank you, Dr. Farida. And uh, the second speaker is today, Professor Jasmine. Jasmine, can you hear me? Hmm? Ah, she's there. Yeah, yeah. Your topic is, if you believe in yourself, will help you master the basic fears. If you believe in yourself, will help you master the basic fears. Sorry, did you say Jasmine? Yes, Jasmine, yeah. I, I am so sorry. I... Right. I, I never heard. It's very difficult topic. To be honest, I, I'm not sure if I heard the question clearly. Can I repeat the question again? Yeah. If you believe in yourself, will help you master the basic fears. Believe in yourself. I believe in myself. I will master the basic fears. Yes, correct. Thank you. Good morning, good evening, fellow Toastmasters. How fitting. This topic is for me. I am, a, I am on a quest to develop myself, to be able to speak, do impromptu speech. I am fearful of speaking in public. And today I am using this opportunity to face my fears. I am from Jamaica. I saw this meeting invite on Facebook this morning, and I challenge myself to face my fears. So this morning, I am opening up myself, I'm exposing myself, I'm making myself vulnerable this morning, because I have committed to facing my fears and to develop. So it is not easy. I am even off the topic, not even remember what the question was, because of the fear but I am just opening up myself to learn from persons who are experienced and that can guide me. So I'm basically here for guidance. So here am I facing my fears, my fears of public speaking, my fear to delve in the world of openness. So I'm here to grasp, to learn from everyone this morning. I'm off the topic, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to face, to conquer my journey, to conquer my fears. Over to you, Topic Master. Thank you, uh, Justin. Uh, you attempt, and also you did the justification. <laughs> the third speaker today is uh, Toastmaster Babu Gupta. Toastmaster Babu? Yes, sir. Yeah. Your topic is getting in the habit of saving or investing money in the industry you don't know getting in the habit of saving or investing money in the industry you don't know thank you table topic master um the well this is a very a uh, risky topic as well that is being uh, wielded by you towards me and uh, the the same goes that uh, in an industry or in any venture or any project that you don't know you if you are going to invest money it will be like a gambling because uh, uh, without knowing if you are investing in a venture and you will think that 
you will get big returns out of it you will be a rich uh, billionaire or something like that then you are mistaken uh, because uh, you should uh, not uh, fall in such traps if uh, you should prevail uh, prevent yourself from falling in such traps then you can uh, continue the journey of your life uh, on a, a persistent manner and you do although you have do not have uh, so much of uh, um, materialistic assets around you but still you will be able to lead your life but if you will fall in such trap then what you have in your pockets it will also disappear with the passing time because you do not have the idea of how to um, make money of investing in an industry that you don't know you have to know the grassroots level of each and every industry you invest your money and uh, the core root of how to uh, manage the things when problem comes that's uh, my take on this topic develop master thank you to sponsor gupta and good attempt and the fourth speaker today is tosman sabita yes tosmaster yeah. sharma yeah your topic is initiative or leadership what do you select initiative or leadership what do you select thank you so much tosmaster sharma for this topic initiative or leadership i think any leader has to initiate somewhere without initiating he cannot be a leader so to become a leader also initiation is required at some stage sudden any person doesn't become a leader at one go or suddenly the person in the beginning i feel he follows somebody he follows his teachers his mentor or whosoever his elders or somebody to achieve whatever he wants in life first the initiation is there then after the person gets some experience in whatever field and slowly he feels the confident that he can lead the show then the leadership starts so i think both are required leadership starts with initiation at one stage of life and slowly with the experience and the confidence and the knowledge gain person leads the show let it be any industry or at work anywhere in the life so in my opinion leadership and initiate initiation go uh, uh, side by side but initiation then leadership thank you very much over to you toastmaster sharma thank you toastmaster savita and uh, speaker number 5 today is uh, gavilya shushant gavilya shushant uh, can you hear me yeah am i audible right you are audible audible yeah correct and your topic is enthusiasm is the foundation of a pleasing personality enthusiastic enthusiasm is the foundation of a pleasing personality is it a good topic to you no enthusiasm enthusiastic enthusiasm yeah that's correct enthusiasm is the foundation of a pleasing of a pleasing personality pleasing yeah um okay friends a happy afternoon to everyone who are present at this meeting today to my improper family be enthusiastic and let me say that's the only foundation for having a pleasing personality let me say one thing you're doing a job you got a negative result and with the same attitude with the same personality you're going to do another what have to do would be a failure again but when you do something with enthusiasm and when you do other uh, other jobs the same thing i'm sure at least 95% of the people would get it as positive let me say that i'm really being enthusiastic let me say when we are doing one thing as my father said we need to put our heart and soul in that we need to put everything so that it comes as a come successful output 
and that's very must everyone whenever we do something we do enjoy it we need to like it first i does everything like that because doing something without enthusiasm is what i really don't like but if i if i am an enthu if i am not enthusiasm i would speak to someone who can charge me and that's nana than my grandmother i would speak to her for a few minutes i would get boosted up and that's what makes us enthusiastic something that makes us boosted makes us enthusiastic and that when you then with the same enthusiasm when you do another work believe me you will get it positive we need to put our heart and soul in it. when we are doing a job when you are speaking an impromptu we need to put our heart and soul in it we need to fully concentrate on it we can we need to focus on it if you do if you are in this meeting and doing some other job related to our life we are not focusing on it we are not putting our 100% on it if you need a result of 200% at least you need to put a 100% from your side the other 100% happens the answer you give the solution you give for the result, problem and that's what it is table topic master thank you thank you to master prashant okay well yes prashant you did very well good attempt and the next speaker is uh, prof master sindhu prof sindhu yes so i'm ready uh, i'll take i will take the yeah. time yeah. thank you so much yeah 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 try me so yeah correct and your topic is uh, creative how to build new houses out of old stones how to build new houses out of old stones okay good evening uh, friends over here and a special good evening to our table topics master how to build a new house using old stones actually this is something which i could easily relate with i always believe that every step which we are taking in our life should be based on the advice and the experience of our ancestors not only our mentors whoever is having an experience on it if you are following those rules and regulations we feel that we can take each and every step without any mistake okay of course we have to make mistakes mistakes are the uh, steps or mistakes are something which shows us that we are trying something but uh, taking the advice from our elders and mentors and leaders if you step forward you can build something which is very beautiful in our life so that is why we mostly rely on the self help books and other motivational books and motivational thoughts by the people around us and all those will just boost our spirits up and will give an enthusiasm or will be poured in with all the knowledge and insights and this is something which will be helping us to a new world and when we have someone in our life as a guide or a mentor of course there will be a sure short success in our life most of the people are successful now only most of them i'm talking about uh, almost 80% of the people are successful in this world uh, due to the help of the mentors or the uh, people who just help them with the advice and experiences so if we if we are having such people in our life definitely we can build mansions or something which we cannot uh, expect so this uh, expect our success will uh, success will be beyond our expectations so such old stone should be picked from our life or from uh, from our surroundings in order to build something new and if you or if we are going for it definitely we can see that finally we will be coming out with something which is very good very precious and that we can give to our next generation too over to you those master chairman thank you those master sindhu the next speaker is today Tosma Sumar, Tosma Sumar, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> you are the master. The of, yeah, your yes. topic is you are the master of your fate and the captain of your soul. You are the master of your fate and the captain of your soul. I couldn't agree more, Tosma Sherman. 
and we th that's the soul that lives in us we should be the captain of it and what is the fate the actions that that we take and the consequences that we face okay so we are the masters okay we are the constructing that whatever the fate that we are deciding for ourselves is be because of our actions so of course i believe that and i always believe your fate and your soul are related if you have a good soul your actions will be good and your fate will be good also and if you have a negative and very dark soul your actions will be bad and your fate will be bad also we all bear the consequences of our actions not just our thoughts or somebody may have positive thoughts some may have negative thoughts but if you put the, those into action and the wheel of that fate will start to move and you will face those consequences that will become your fate and it's up to us to have develop that kind of a beautiful soul that we have acknowledge that because we are running towards the desires of all that the worldly desire that we are occupying ourselves with instead of that we should captain our soul we should take charge of our soul because that is the soul that will live beyond our own selves because we have to think when i when i say we have to think in words we are talk i am talking about thinking with your soul and mind i believe i read this in a book mind is the seat of the soul. and the seat of the soul by gary zuko it's a very lovely book and i recommend everybody to read it also so oh, you have to think and you have to feel the things that you want to feel and do the things with your soul and you take charge of your life don't let anybody let dictate it and don't let anybody say that you have to do the things in the certain way do things that you make your soul happy and you peaceful and that's what captaining your soul is and that's how you can master your fate because if your soul is satisfied you will have the, those results as a consequence and actions will be satisfying also and you will have bear the consequences that are everlasting and ever impacting for others also over to you to swasti sharma thank you to swasti sharma well done and the next speaker is uh, cosmos devika devika cosmos devika she's not there actually it was dushi dushian i think no it was gavalya gavalya dushyant yeah yeah i am dushyant and the name you had you had named yourself devi earlier so now you are gavalya dushyant so i think it's your turn uh, sharman you okay. can give the topic to dushyant dushyant ah oh, yeah dushyant is here right dushyant your topic is tolerance will teach you how to avoid the disastrous effects tolerance will teach you how to avoid the disastrous effects can you repeat please to yeah. tolerance means tolerance is actually you you can be i uh, there are some uh, margin you are giving uh, here and there tolerance There's some okay. flexibility some flexibility Uh, tolerance will teach you how to avoid the disastrous effects okay yeah i understand yes so hi friends and toastmasters present here and i'm gb dushyan from rivers dream grammar club india so the topic given to me was tolerance help tolerance helps us to uh, avoid uh, disasters so we all know that what is tolerance is tolerance means like my brother be my brother beats me and if i beat him my mother will scold me likewise if if i was studying in my laptop my brother will go come and log on the laptop and i will beat him the mo my mother will scold me so 
this is what tolerance means so in some times my mother will say why are you doing like this i am so irritated of you i first i love children now i don't like children ha huh? <laughs> then she will go so like that we should tolerance if we beat annoyingly she will say don't beat him he is your brother you should help him and he should help you when you grow so we should always be tolerant so that we can avoid many disasters like scoldings like me thank you thank you gavelia dishan and the next speaker is uh, doson sainak to sign <laughs> right the topic is adaptation is the best quality to face a situation adaptation is the best policy uh, some disturbance is happening the some noise is coming adaptation is the best policy to face the situation good afternoon good evening to all the fell yeah, am i audible yeah audible okay yes Uh, a very good morning good evening and good uh, afternoon to the whole global impromptu uh, family so the topic given to me is adaptation is the best policy to face the situation to face any situation uh, i completely agree with this topic because i feel that uh, whenever life throws a new task at you or anything you need to adapt to whatever is happening rather than fight it because a lot of times when you fight the situation you don't find any solution for it uh, but when you adapt to it um, so you're being flexible right and it's always better to be that in any kind of situation because then it's easier to gel in and to be one with the situation and it's easier to face any kind of task that uh, that you are faced with for example when i had to move out for university there were a lot of things that i did not know you had to do because i always lived a very sheltered life under my parents under my both my elder siblings so every time it i was the person uh, i was the kind of person who did not know anything basically because i always had people around me to do it for me if i wanted breakfast there was always someone to make it for me if i had to do the laundry it was always done i just had to neatly fold it and put it in my cupboard that's all i did so i always had to do half the job moving away made me realize that half the job doesn't really work and it actually amounts to nothing and i had two options either to fight it or just saying ke oh i don't know give up midway or to adapt in the situation take things at as what they were and learn how to work with what i had in hand at that moment and initially i remember i tried to fight it it did not work and then i had to adapt to whatever i had be it chores be it how to handle life outside how to live independently uh so i feel uh, adapting to any situation uh, adapting to any environment uh, adapting to any kind of task that is given to you it's very important uh, there is this saying in urdu jaisa uh, urdu hindi it's jaisa desh waisa bhes which means uh, you dress the way and you act the way uh, depending on what culture are you in and what society you are in and i feel uh, that's something which is very true to everyone and that's a way to move forward and thank you so much Thank you, Tosma Zainab. The next speaker is uh, Tosma Sagayatri. Gayatri, can you hear me? Yes. Am I audible? Yeah, you're audible. Procrastination is a crime. That means habit of postponing things. Procrastination is a crime. That's your topic. Thank you so much, Chairman. Procrastination is a crime, and who better than I can tell that? I was in college. I was studying law. I never had one night stands in literal sense but when it came to my papers and my studies they usually were one night stands with all my subjects I studied exactly for one night before the examination before appearing for any examination it once so happened that I was preparing for my history paper which was the legal history I opened the book at 8 o'clock in the night the night before the exam and I realized oh my god i am not understanding a thing entire night i broke my head i reread everything but the, the legal terms just went over my head i just couldn't make out anything out of it 
Finally, at six o'clock in the early morning, I called a friend of mine and I told her that, see, I made a mistake. I did not read anything. And now there are like about a hundred questions that I don't, don't know any of it. Can you just summarize everything for me? She was a really dear friend. So from six o'clock to eight o'clock in the morning, she actually revised her entire syllabus with me. At 10.30, both of us appeared for the paper. When the results came in, I had scored more than her. And that upset her like anything. After that, I never got the help from anyone when it came to studies, but I also took my own lesson. After that particular incident, I started taking things in stride and one at a time. I did not put them off. I avoided procrastination because as a journalist, I had this habit of working on deadlines. And as a lawyer, I had this habit of get, delaying things because that is what we did in the court. We delayed things and we took dates after dates after dates. But yes, this particular incident somewhere deep inside had a very lasting impact on me. And I took a lesson of not delaying things and not putting them off. Thank you so much. Over to you, Table Topics Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Gayatri. The next uh, speaker is Toastmaster Sunita. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How to determine what is an important thing to clear the mind? How to determine what is an important to think, clear the mind? What is important to clear the mind? Okay. Uh, good evening, Toastmaster Sherman and my global impromptu friends. How to determine what is important to clear the mind? Yes, our minds are always cluttered with so many unimportant things. We are constantly thinking of things that are of no consequence. We need to realize that we are just tra in, uh, transit passengers in this world. We are not going to be here for a whole life uh, beyond the span of life that you are supposed to live. So we need to think of what is really, really important. Small things, grudges, uh, we should not hold such things and worry unnecessarily about tomorrow or the past. Just learn to enjoy the present and uh, stop worry. Basically, like I said, you're here for a very short while. Make the best use of your time over here. Don't uh, grieve over what went wrong in the past or what will happen in the future. Just go with the flow, like somebody said, go with the flow. Enjoy what you can do and learn from your mistakes. Don't clutter your mind, just like don't clutter your life with unnecessary things at home. Same way, don't clutter your mind, don't fill it with unnecessary doubts and fears. Just enjoy the moment and clear your mind. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, so much, Toastmaster Sunita. And the next speaker is uh, Toastmaster Sujata. Yes. Yeah, you can hear me, huh? yes. Yeah. How to focus your attention upon one subject at a time. How to focus your attention upon one subject at a time is the topic, is your topic. Thank you, Table Topics Master. Uh, good evening, everyone. How to focus attention at, at one thing at a time? Yes. Every day, we have a lot of things that we need to focus on. Since we have uh, too many things in the to-do list, which we need to do it on that day itself. But how to focus on one thing at a time is by preparing a list according to the priority. Because everything in, the li in this life, we need to uh, prioritize, we can just get it done. If we don't prioritize, we end up doing nothing. Whatever we need to do 
it has to be done on time otherwise it will be a sheer waste so according to me only when we prioritize things and schedule things and we have a time frame uh, set the things can be done on time over to you thank you to osma sujata and the next speak is to osma to sita yes chairman yeah you can hear me yes and cooperation will teach you the value of teamwork in all you do cooperation will teach you the value of teamwork in all you do good morning good afternoon and good evening to all my friends cooperation and teamwork go hand in hand without a team we won't be able to achieve most of the goals team is together everyone achieves more look at this team global impromptu family we have to have a team each day we have to have a table topic master a timer all should cooperate if all are present on time then we can start the meeting and each one has to cooperate by giving ideas and then only it will be interesting and then time will time how it goes on very smoothly because of the cooperation it is same in your family in the neighborhood at office in your family how can a mother do everything all alone children will have to cooperate and we have to cooperate with our children we have to support them to do their homework to teach them how to work and everything and at office in the corporate world teamwork plays a major role we have lot of goals to achieve we need everyone all are not the same but still we need everyone people are like five fingers they are uh, different from length strength appearance but when we do some work with our hands we need all five fling- fingers to have a perfect grip likewise in an organization we need each and every one to perform our task oh dear sir thank you dosma to see that well done and the next speaker is uh, manudya can you hear me yes i can hear you yeah. am i manudya to- your topic is how to make stepping stones out of all your past and future mistakes that means how to be perfect uh, uh, with your uh, getting your experience of mistakes how to be perfect okay uh, good evening good morning good afternoon my dear global imperative speaking family actually how to make using our experience that is i think that is my topic as i understood so topic called so experience are very important in our life uh, when you said that, that topic what i can remember that is other than 2011 t20 world cup before the world cup in 2007 sri lanka had the match with india in that match sri lanka batted well mahil javadan score 100 all we thought sri lanka win the match then in bowling what happened sri lanka lost the match our bowlers bowled badly uh, mahind is in not bad in in the opening our bowlers did remember and hendus in dhoni our uh in after f- few years later in the thrusan in the day one world cup our lasit malinga and other bowlers bowl very well especially in last few overs mahil mahendra singh dhoni score less runs we don't focus on the wickets we focus on the less runs in that case we won the match so i think we have to get experience in such a way 
then we won the world cup t20 in first time uh, so my dear verbal interpreter speaking french so then teach le then le learn from your experience and win your life toss match table topic master over to you thank you to sponsor manodaya the next speaker is ஒரு <laughs> get on top of every difficulty that come your way otherwise it will get on top of you that's your topic i think he is not there yes, yes there. i think he is not there ah oh, sorry 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 uh to sponsor ajay yes first person sharma opportunity may be hard to recognize if you are only looking for a lucky break opportunity may be hard to recognize if a look if a only looking for a lucky break uh thank you so much chosma sharma uh a very very good morning afternoon evening to all my global impromptu friends here a lovely topic topic uh, as it says opportunity as i believe when it comes your way you have to take it if you are looking always that luck is going to come your way it doesn't happen because to be very um, candid and straight forward i don't believe in luck it is hard work and knowledge together when it comes on a very what do you say perfect pro platform things start happening and some people label it as luck however when you have the knowledge and you have put in the hard work you will see certain opportunities coming the talent or the knowledge or the perception to identify an opportunity is very important and that only comes when you have knowledge about that particular element and when you have that knowledge you can seek that opportunity and when you get that opportunity please always take advantage not to lose the opportunity i remember what i said last time around i don't know whether it was in the meeting or after the meeting that it's like fortune you know when fortune knocks your door you better open it because if you don't open the door she will send in her daughter misfortune so remember that you have to have fortune when it comes your way and an opportunity knocks at your door please do take it you just cannot wait for luck luck doesn't mean anything it's all hard work it's like learn and then get your knowledge properly and take that opportunity to fulfill whatever you wish to do uh, one other element i must say that to be able to take the a uh, right opportunity at the right time you definitely need to wield a lot of tools your conscious your subconscious and a lot of awareness to do so and it takes a little time to learn that thing over to you toastmaster sharma thank you so much for the talk thank you toastmaster ajay and the next speaker is uh, toastmaster anushri toastmaster anushri you are here yes sir good evening right. sharman sir evening. yes yes you realize that first impressions and judgments are often misleading that means your first impressions and judgments are often misleading often you can say often also okay namaskar my global impromptu family yes i'm completely not completely but somewhat agree on this statement sometime when we see a person or meet the person from that particular time we have we are started 
thinking about the person we try to get that judgment or we are labeling that person he is a kind he is a rude or he is a shrewd so we are trying to get that label to that person but many of times i come across that person is not that that what i was thinking so because my judgments or my first meeting are uh, extreme failure so i decided and i claim that and i told in this platform also many a times i will not judge because i am very bad in judgments and first time when i meet someone i cannot get a guarantee okay that the way i meet in that particular situation the person is exactly what i'm thinking because many factors many things are uh, happening okay uh, i'll give a one example many of you went to for that buying vegetables how many times you pick the vegetable take the one potato and then onion you are taking looking from up and down and then you are put it back lady finger you are just testing okay this is fresh or something this much time we are spending for the person no we are not even thinking to talk to that person not to get, get that kind of a having a tolerance to understand or giving that much time or patience to that person just a first meeting most of us having a habit to give a title or give our mindset to that person just because of his clothes just because of the way he is speak he or she is speaking so we are trying to labelize a person and i am completely against but yes as you said correctly it happened to most of us we are trying to that it's not i am also overcome from that when i'm seeing a person i'll try to get that thing but yes of course i'll give a time to myself no this you are not doing a right thing have a patience try to find out and then only have some opinion and i feel that there is no need of a make a opinion about others first you have to make opinion about yourself over to you sir thank you thank you anushri and the next speaker is uh, the galal the guest galal uh, zagi can you hear me yes yes thank galal. you thank you toastmaster leadership is acting when you see the need without waiting for someone else to suggest it leadership is acting when you see the need without waiting for someone else to suggest it that means you take the leadership you take the action thank you for such a an embarrassing question <laughs> leadership doesn't exist with me in our home my wife is the one who leads and she wields the most potent weapon that we have in the house and that is her tongue when she starts to talk to me this is what gets me to practice with impromptu speaking and she tells me are you going to answer me during this lifetime and when she tells me thank you very much i know i'm in trouble leadership by example we really need something like this in a developing country like ours where we have a lot of mistakes that go on like the way we drive we call it in arabic it's the booze you know the first guy who gets his the the front of his car has the right of way and when we jump queues we you know we try and jump the queue when we're queuing so we need strong leadership we need carrot and a stick to tell us what to do and when to do it not just using the tongue so leadership is really something that is important for all of us especially for youth with what's happening to the world and the future is not the way it used to be and if we teach students today what we learned yesterday we rob them of tomorrow leadership leadership is of primary importance 
Thank you, Toastmaster Shunaman. Thank you, Toastmaster Garal. And the next uh, speaker is uh, Achar Adil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Your topic is get on top of every difficulty that come your way. Otherwise, it will get on top of you. Get on top of every difficulty that come your way. Otherwise, it will get on top of you. Yeah. Is it clear? Thank you. Right. Yes. Thank you to Table Topics Master and greetings to all the members here. <clears throat> yes, it is very true. Uh, it is like a big monster. The fear or challenge is just like a big monster which is coming towards you. Uh, either you just overcome that challenge uh, because there is no escape. If you keep getting away from that monster, ultimately you would get engulfed by that big monster. Now, uh, how should I put it in example? Uh, let's take an example of a kid. A kid scared of walking. Like in the beginning, a kid uh, feels uh, extremely scared of standing, in fact. So how about walking? But a kid is always very scared of taking his or her first step. Right? If he keeps avoiding it, he would not be able to walk. Uh, and once he overcomes or she overcomes that problem, then he can or she can walk. Uh, in fact, a cousin of mine, when he was uh, like uh, even six, five or six years old, he was unable to uh, stand up. My grandfather did as and firmly on his feet, but he was unable to. And the reason was simple, that his parents took undue care of his, uh, uh, ch uh, their child. And so the, the, you know, the, the, the terrific uh, scaredness that he had was never overcome. So the point is very simple, that uh, if we do not face the challenge and fight the challenge and beat the challenge, we are more likely to get engulfed by that challenge and there would be no escape for us. Now, over to you. Thank you for the talk. Thank you, Toastmaster Adil. And the next speaker is uh, Toastmaster Jesse. Yes. Right. Toastmaster Chairman. Learn from the past, but not live in the past. Learn from the past, but not live in the past. That's your topic, madam. Table topic master Sherman and my fellow global Toastmasters. Good evening, good morning. It's a very common thing. Learn from learn from your mistakes, but live in the present. But hard to live. Most of the time, what we do is if somebody said in something in the morning and I did not like the comment, that comment will be going around the whole day. If something had happened in while driving the road, somebody cut before you, that thought comes. But it's very, very hard to live in the present, learning from the mistakes of the past, for which we'll have to do constant uh, instilling of the affirmation say forget forget but i have seen most of the time more i say forget more i get the same thought but, uh, that's how our life is uh, it's very very it's easy to say uh, there's a saying also look um, look uh, don't look backward learn some forward, I, I don't get that um, another uh, topic, but uh, it's easy to say, learn from the mistakes. Yes, we learn from the mistake, no doubt. Lots of mistakes, we learn from the mistakes and uh, live in the present. But most of the time, we are, our thoughts are about the future or about the past. 
very, very few people live in the present, forgetting, learning from the past and correcting their life and without thinking of the future because what you do today becomes your future. So if your past was bad, that becomes, if you keep thinking, that will become your future the next day. So learn from the past, but live in the future. Try and try how you will live uh, happily. Over to you. Thank you, Professor Jesse. And the next speaker is uh, Professor Manu. Hello. Joseph, I am. He's there. Higher the thoughts, the greater the incentive. The higher the thoughts, the greater the incentive. Joseph Manu. Higher the thoughts, great in intensive. It does correct. Greater the incentive. Incentives. Incentive. Good evening, all my dear family members. Higher the thoughts, greater incentive. First of all, incentive is what is the incentive? Incentive is the things which we get apart from what we are getting. So every time, whenever we are doing anything in a simple way, that is good. What we are doing, we will definitely get. What? If we want to get any incentive, any other things, extra things, then we have to think beyond what we are doing. We need to increase the power of our thoughts. If we are not doing it, then you are still on the same place. If you are want to, if you want to move ahead. I hate whatever you are reciting right now, then you have to think separately. You have to think in some other ways. If you are not doing this, then you will still in the crowd. If you want to identify yourself apart from the crowd, then you have to work differently. If you, if you are not doing this, then you are still in the crowd and you are not leaving your identification because in the crowd we have many of the many of the members many of the peoples who are working like you but if you are not doing the things in a separate way in a good way different from the peoples what they are doing then you cannot show your talent you will not be able to achieve whatever you are looking so we have to think differently. We have to think higher. We have to come up with new thoughts so that people could identify you separately apart from the crowd. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Sabanu. The next speaker is uh, Dr. Abdul. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, this is is coming in. What the mind can yeah what the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve what the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve that's your topic good evening fellow toastmasters and uh, guests so i was uh, the this i was reading about this uh, the around this topic only or the uh, net and I was reading like how you can mani manifest somebody's mind. Like if you want to achieve something in your life, maybe you want to, maybe you have some uh, lack of confidence and you, maybe what you can do is that you need to keep saying uh, uh, those words, affirmation sentences. I want to be successful uh, full in my life. I want to um, create a lot of wealth and I want to, uh, help people once you keep saying uh, to that uh, to your mind right and maybe i i read like whole inverse will come together and uh, help you in achieving that it's like but uh, when you say those affirmation affirmation sentences your soul should be like very clean and you should like you should do a lot of gratitudes 
uh, towards uh, whatever God has given to you. Once you have that, and that will generate the beliefs in you. Once you have that belief and everything, all the doors will open for you and you'll start behaving and acting and you and others also start seeing that confidence, belief in you and the doors start opening for you. I think uh, uh, I have gone through it, um, a lot of the things. Maybe I also see that uh, the belief is the one thing which makes a man successful in life. Maybe we need to believe and believe doesn't come just like that. I can't say I, I want to be uh, something. Uh, it is like on, 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 the, on that run, we need to keep gaining the knowledge. Once we keep gaining the knowledge, the confidence will automatically grow and we build that belief in our heart and we will succeed. Or to Sherman. Okay, thank you, Dr. Abdul. The next speaker is uh, Dinesha. Dinesha is there. Dinesha is uh, can't see. And Dr. Jaya is there. Jaya. Yeah, a very good evening. Good evening. Do your best. Forget the rest. Do your best. Forget the rest. Jaya. Thank you so much for this uh, uh, question. Do your best and forget your best. Uh, rest. And leave it uh, to the rest. Uh, okay. Yes, I truly agree on this topic. We all believe that the hard work pays you off, right? So one must work hard. For example, uh, for an exam or for an interview, work hard on it, study, go through the points, prepare yourself and um, once you do that and you uh, go for your exam or for an interview, try your best, whatever you know, and leave it to the rest because things are not in our hands. It all depends. Do we know what kind of questions will come? No, but still, we have to go to each subject, each uh, topic, right? And each points so that we do not miss out anything. So that's why I believe that we must prepare ourselves and work hard, work on yourself and leave the rest because nothing's in your hand. If it's in your luck, well and good, then be satisfied that you have tried your best and you have worked hard on this. At the same time, you need to be smarter also. What I have realized, not only hard work, pays you off. You need to be smarter because there are people who are smarter than you. They are street smart. So you need to have both your hard work and being little smarter. And then be satisfied that you have tried then not working hard and leave rest over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Jaya. Thank you. And the next uh, the speaker is uh, Toastmaster Chan Chandres. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. The topic is opportunity never knocks on the door. You have to knock on opportunity doors, and they are all around you. Opportunity never knocks on the door. You have to knock on opportunities doors and they are all around you. A very good evening to all fellow Toastmasters, uh, Global Impromptu Toastmaster brothers and sisters. Yes, opportunity 
never knocks on our door. We have to uh, take all the opportunities, whatever comes on our way. Sometimes uh, I, I have also gone through one uh, quote. I really like it. It was like, uh, if uh, opportunity uh, uh, not knocking on your door, then build the door first. Yes, by hook or crook, you have to uh, uh, face the challenges because life is not going to be uh, without problems, without challenges, without uh, up and down. It may be it a part of our day-to-day uh, -day routine. And uh, we have to face in a better way with our all efforts and uh, our all uh, hard work. And uh, we have to come out from our comfort zone if you really want to grow and we, if you uh, really want to succeed. Because sometimes uh, opportunity comes, but we are in thinking or say overthinking mode. We will uh, uh, sometimes uh, so, so much overthinking that the opportunity comes and goes and we couldn't take any actions. We are uh, doing many stuff, many hard work for our success, for our growth. But how many actions we are taking? Are we taking uh, actions on whatever the opportunity and challenges comes on the, our way? We have to believe in ourselves and we have to accept the challenges. Then only we can uh, succeed and uh, uh, we can leave whatever dreams we uh, want to achieve in our life. Over to you, PTM Chairman. Thank you, Toastmaster Sandre. The next person is uh, Toastmaster Anil. Yeah, yeah, I think Gavalia Anil. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Your topic is, even if you are on the right track, you will get turned over if you just sit there. If you are, maybe you are on the right track, but if you just sit there, you will uh, run over. Is it okay for you? With, uh, I'm not sure. Right. Uh, you want some easy one? Mm. Happiness can be, can never be found in, in your, if you just sit on there. Can you say something about happiness? I have to tell about happiness, right? Yes. Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, fellow, uh, fellow Gavliers and senior Toastmasters. So, um, for my topic, I have to talk about um, about happiness. So, happiness is uh, like uh, without happiness, you'll always be sad, and you'll have a lot of depression. And if the world is uh, really sad, like so, you can't do everything in a good mood because if you're happy you'll be uh, you can do things quickly and also it's like wow we just completed and we had so much fun but then if you're sad um we take uh, keep on uh, taking a lot of time for doing one work which is so small and also um with happiness happy with happiness everyone can laugh and also everyone can enjoy but with sadness you can't enjoy that much and it's no worth like play, uh with being with your friends if you're sad that then uh, no one will like talk to you but if you're happy everyone will talk to you so i refer that everyone should be happy thank you thank you anil uh anil i think you attempt very well and the next, uh, last speaker is today, Rosmas uh, Amjad. To learn something, keep your eyes, ears, and mind open at all times. To learn something, keep your eyes, ears open at all times. To learn something, you have to keep your eyes, ears, and mind all times. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Topics Master, Toastmaster Sherman. If you learn something, keep your eyes, ears, in fact, everything opens, open. Uh, I completely agree with the statement. When you learn something, you need to aware what you are learning. Is it good for you? Because every point in life, every bit of life, we are learning something. When we are fighting with somebody, we are learning something. When we are helping somebody, we are learning something. When we are not doing anything, we are learning something. But if we keep our mind open, our eyes open, our head open, our ears open, we know where to apply, what to do with this learning. Whether we should let this learning go from our life, or we need to apply it, we need to multiply with this. So this is what I believe this talk, topic is all about. Always when we learn whichever situation we are in, it's a good situation, bad situation. Imagine this coronavirus or COVID-19, it happened. Didn't we learn something? Didn't we come together and now helping each other? It's a learning, it's a learning process. Every bit of our life is learning. Now what we do with this one is what we become, where our character comes from. If I do something from my learning, I will become a great person. If I do something wrong from my learning, of course, I will become evil for people. So people will remember me both ways. It's totally up to me whether I should keep my legacy on, what I was taught by my parents, my elders, my mentors, my teachers, or I should make their name blacklisted. It's totally up to you. Learning is something happens every bit in our life. Ladies and gentlemen, what have you learned? What have you made legacy in your life? I'm trying to make every bit of my learning as legacy, but positive legacy. Thank you so much, Mr. Topics Master. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Amjad. I think we have all done. I think maybe uh, one or two people are missing, or any. I think all uh, got a chance to speak. I think. Okay. Yes. Najla and Karla. And your topic will be given by either Toastmaster Omar or Toastmaster or Gavalier. Uh, let them choose whoever wants to give you the topic and okay. there you go. I, I will be giving. You may easy one. I'm tired with uh, giving a number of topics. To <laughs> I, I, I will give you a very easy one. It's my, one of my favorite quotes. <laughs> so your topic is character is what you stand for. Reputation is what you fall for. I'll repeat. Character is what you stand for. Reputation is what you fall for. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you and uh, topic master and all friends and uh, character is very important and also your position and uh, also important and if you have a good character you can have a very good name in your, in your society and with that you can win the hearts of the society the people or people around you then only you can you can we say that you are doing some marketing so the the person who is coming to you to do get some thing to done and and we we are uh, the consumers are coming to you and you want to uh, market something first the, that person is coming as a suspect to you and if you have a very good mingle or relationship you can turn that person as a prospective buyer the prospective the customer and uh, and also the uh, you can't remember what you said the position i think maybe the you, you said something position i think reputation is what you fall for position no reputation 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 yeah reputation also very important if you sold uh, the bad product to the, the customer your reputation will go on once the reputation gone you can't get it back again so you have to maintain your reputation and uh, your standards and uh, you can continue your uh, businesses or any other thing. Over to you, Toastmaster Mar. Mm, nice thoughts and nice improvisation, Sharman, sir. And... Thank you so much, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, Toastmaster Omar, Toastmaster Sherman, and Toastmaster Sinduji. Can we go back to Toastmaster Sindhu for a timing report, please, ladies and gentlemen?
Good evening once again, all my friends over here. Let me go to the timers report. Toastmaster Farida has taken one minute 43 seconds. Toastmaster Jasmine, one minute 42 seconds. Toastmaster Babu, one minute 47 seconds. Toastmaster Savita, one minute 16 seconds. Gavilesh Sushant, two minutes 21 seconds. Umar, two minutes 27 seconds. Uh, myself, two minutes 20 seconds. Gavile Dushyant, one minute 19 seconds. Zainab, two minutes 16 seconds. Toastmaster Gayatri, two minutes three seconds. Toastmaster Sunita, one minute 36 seconds. Toastmaster Sujata, one minute 16 seconds. Toastmaster Susita, two minutes five seconds. Toastmaster Manode, one minute 46 seconds. Toastmaster Ajay, two minutes 18 seconds. Toastmaster Anisri, two minutes 45 seconds. Toastmaster Galal, one minute 49 seconds. Toastmaster Ashahar, two minutes, two seconds. DTM Jesse, two minutes, 17 seconds. Toastmaster Monu, two minutes, 14 seconds. Toastmaster Abdul, one minute, 46 seconds. Toastmaster Jaya, two minutes, 48 seconds. Toastmaster Chandresh, two minutes. Gavila Anil, one minute, 13 seconds. DTM Amjad, two minutes, three seconds. Toastmaster Sherman, one minute, 35 seconds. Toastmaster Jaya and Toastmaster Anishri went over time. The rest were all in time. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Osmasindu. Really appreciate for tracking uh, our time. Really appreciate uh, for your support. Let's all put our hands together to appreciate Toastmaster Sherman and Toastmaster Sindhu for making this 91st success global improvement speaking session. With that, Pa as the host of this very meeting. I adjourn the meeting. Now over to each one of you to have fun for some time. Stay blessed.